Hi everyone. Welcome to Nand Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about an exciting news. VMware Workstation Pro now free for personal use. And here is the icon for VMware Workstation. Uh, before going to explain you the personal use details transition plan, let me uh, quickly recall what is VMware Workstation. So as we are aware, VMware Workstation is a virtualization software. Virtualization means it is a technology. It allows you to transform hardware into software. So virtualization software product that allows to run multiple operating systems on a single physical computer. So physical computer can be a either desktop or it can be a laptop. If you, I didn't observe the diagram, we have a x64 architecture we are running an operating system either it is a windows operating system linux or solaris operating system on top we can install vmware workstation and the latest name vmware workstation pro when when we install vmware workstation it allows to create multiple virtual machines let's say here an example vm1 vm2 vm3 and so on depends on our physical resources we can create n number of virtual machines and each virtual machine, we can run operating system and application. And VM consists of all virtual components. Whatever we have in a physical uh, physical system, physical CPU, here we call it as virtual CPU. And physical memory, here we call it as virtual memory. And we have a network card here, VNIC, virtual NIC. And here disk, in virtual scenario, we call it as VDisk. And the operating system, it's a VMware workstation. Inside OS, we call it as guest operating system, and we can run any of our testing the applications. So it enables us to create and manage virtual machine on our desktop or laptop, each of which can run a different operating system. One VM, we can run a Windows. One VM, you can run Linux. Another VM, you can run a any of these Solaris or different flavor operating system. Even you can test the ESX operating system within VMware Workstation for testing purpose. So the most powerful virtualization for Windows and Linux. The next generation VMware desktop hypervisor for Windows and Linux are here. And run nearly any operating system on Windows or Linux and develop and test for any platform. Even if you want to testing the any of the Kubernetes platforms, you can test it using VMware Workstation virtual machines. And run nearly anything all from a single device. Now let's talk about signification of VMware Workstation. So VMware Workstation, if you are running on Windows platform, we call it as VMware Workstation Pro, current latest version 17. And if you are running a VMware on a Linux flavors or Macintosh operating system, the product name we call it as VMware Fusion, current latest version is 13 Pro. So we, these products, we call it as a VMware desktop hypervisor products, so Fusion and Workstation. So millions use this to run VMs on Windows, Linux, and Mac operating systems and enable easy creation of local virtual environment and essential for understanding virtualization and vSphere fundamentals. Who are looking for you, if you want to practice your VMware concepts, ESX and vCenter management, you can use VMware Workstation or Fuse product and valuable for commercial use in development, testing, and vSphere interaction now let's talk about new licensing models licensing models currently the new change is fusion pro and workstation pro currently free for personal use and the paid version is for commercial use so free for personal apps on mac windows and linux and commercial use requires paid subscription via broadcom partners as we are aware vmware broadcom acquires vmware organization Okay, and while installation, this is the difference. While installing VMware Workstation 7, 17, you can find use VMware Workstation for personal use. Uh, normally for a personal use, we can go with a free version and for a commercial purpose, we can use enter a license key. But the features wise, both are same. Only the license is recommended to use for commercial use. Okay, now let's talk about transition plan. Suppose who are uh, all the existing users, how they can plan or shift to the latest VMware Workstation Pro. So transition plan for users. So personal users upgrade to VMware Workstation Pro or Fusion Pro and commercial users continue with existing licenses and encourage to upgrade to the Pro Edition. So the Pro Edition, the another key thing is some users may use 
fusion player or workstation player all recommend to migrate to the vmware fusion pro vmware workstation pro suppose if it is a personal use workstation player either running on windows or linux operating system so download workstation pro for personal use so there will be no charge it's completely free and similarly applicable for fusion player mac os and uh, delete the license key to unlock the pro for personal use here is the broadcam official knowledge base article number so 367660 so you can refer this article how we can transition from fusion player to the latest version fusion pro 13 and similarly when it comes to the commercial use fusion player and workstation player you can just subscribe to desktop hypervisor okay so hope you understand what is a new change in vmware workstation the for the personal users they are introduced to workstation pro for free and for commercial users they can buy the license from broadcam partners now if you want to download just log into the google you can just type the vmware workstation download when we type vmware workstation pro download you will find a vmware article or broadcam article randomly you can pick any article it will redirect to the respective download location suppose vmware workstation for this is the one of the article if you refer this article there is a links for fusion pro download and workstation pro download when we click workstation pro download it will redirect to the broadcam site you can enter our username and also the password so once we enter our login credentials it will show us the different options like a workstation pro from the versions from 15 16 series 17 series and if you refer the differences here workstation pro 17 for windows and personal use for free users always recommend to go with the personal use so let's select this option here you can find it different releases starting from 17.0 to 17.0.1 25 5.1 and 17.5.2 is the latest version so select this version it will start downloading the vmware workstation pro per windows if you are looking for a linux you can choose the linux flavor and the download option you can find in the right side so just click on download option it will start downloading the vmware workstation pro let's go to the download section yeah and the in installation it's a pretty straightforward as we are aware it's a .exe file only so we can just double click and follow the on-screen instruction to install the VMware Workstation. So hope you understand the importance of VMware Workstation Pro for personal use. So you can also try to test it out with the free software Workstation Pro. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.